Well, Mark Jackson's Golden State Warriors must have been tired of singing the same old song and dance whenever they come to the Alamo City because they were finally able to close out the Spurs for the first time in San Antonio since the Bill Clinton administration. Career high, 34 points from Klay Thompson. He and the rest of the Warriors took game one to heart and they were able to use those tribulations and lessons to finally come out victorious in game two. I think for seven and a half quarters we played you know better basketball and um, played you know consistently. Just you know that collapse was was tough to deal with. It just wasn't enough. A lot of credit to them. They played really well. Obviously, uh, uh, Clay shot uh, shot the ball incredibly well. Um, and we just couldn't put consistent stops together, and that's what this series gonna be about for us. It's on us to control the tempo. It's on us to control it defensively. It's on us to make a better effort and make a lot less mistakes. Uh, um, and in that, we can we can take their credit out of it. For us to have you know, be a young, resilient team and come back and, and get a 1-1 you know, split, that's mission accomplished, um, especially against a great Spurs team. Um, and, and now we, you know, we have home court advantage to take advantage of um, when we get home. And it's going to be a crazy atmosphere. Um, and we're looking forward to it. And now the series shifts to the Bay Area for games three and four of the Western Conference semifinals. Rapper and local Oakland native Too Short said, if a dream is all you've got, homeboy, you've got to turn that dream into the real McCoy. Well, if the Warriors keep giving us games like tonight, they might see their dreams come true. At the Western Conference semifinals at the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Lane Fobbs, ABC 40 Sports.